Hola, ¿qué tal? En este video vamos a practicar la formación de preguntas en español. So we're just going to practice making some questions in Spanish. Um, this is something that can be kind of difficult. Um, really, it's not too bad if you kind of look at it with, with the perspective of your own language because it's very similar. Um, but there are some minor differences. So what, I'm, what I'm, we're going to do here is I'm going to give you some uh, interrogative words. Just review them with you. And then I'm going to give you nine uh, statements or answers. And then what I, what I want you to try and do is come up with questions that may have elicited those nine responses. So uh, that's the practice that you're going to do. So first, um, just to review something, here are some interrogative words on the screen for you. If uh, you want to have this, any of this text that I'm be putting on the screen in this video, it's all going to be available in a link uh, that's in the description of the video. It'll take you to a document. You can print it off or just save it as notes or whatever. So some interrogative words you might want to use are quién, qué, por qué, cuándo, Donde, a donde, como, cual, que, cuanto, cuantos, or cuanta and cuantas for the feminine versions. So those are some words you might want to use. So what I think you should try and do here is if, if you want to practice this, go look, here are the nine questions. I'll put them on this screen, but they're also on a handout. Try and come up with a question, and then I'm going to give you nine of my possible answers. Uh, how about right now, we'll do number one first, just to kind of give, it, give you an idea of what I'm looking for, and then you do the two through nine. So for number one, it says, Riley estudia las humanidades. So sh this person, she studies humanities. So we might ask, uh, the question that may have elicited that response might be, uh, who studies humanities? So who is quien? So I'll say quien. Estudia las humanidades. Or maybe we could say, what, is, what does she study? What does Riley study? Que estudia Riley? Uh, that would be the question. Uh, that's, those are my two questions for that answer. So I want you to see if you can come up with a question for numbers 2 through 9. And then I'm going to give you mine in pretty much two seconds here. So pause the video if you want to do this. So let's see. For number 2, uh, Dole and I are from Buenos Aires. So obviously you're going to want to ask, uh, where uh, are you guys from? So that's going to be... De donde son ustedes? Or, depending on where you live and speak Spanish, De donde sois? De vosotros from. Where are you guys from? Um, uh, the next one says, uh, Estoy bien, gracias. So obviously, I'm, I'm well, thanks. So you're asking, how are you? We've learned three ways to say, how are you? A formal version, como está usted? Informal, como estás? Or, que tal? The next one, uh, Nicole y Marla entraron. So these two people entered. So I think a good question might be, who entered? Quienes entraron? Notice that I put quien into the plural form because I'm asking about multiple people. And the verb entraron is also in the preter eos form, saying, asking who did these things. The next one, um, let's see, what's the next one? Necesito cinco libros. So I need five books. So maybe we'll ask, uh, what do you need? Que necesitas? Or how many books do you need? Cuantos libros necesitas? Notice the cuantos matches up with the libros in gender and plurality. Uh, the next one, Papi Gato se graduó el año pasado. So this guy graduated last year. So we might say, uh, who graduated last year? Quien se graduó el año pasado? Or maybe, when did he graduate? Cuando se graduó Papi Gato? The next one, quiero estudiar para sacar una buena nota. So I want to study to get a good, good, to get a good grade. Why do you want to study might be a question. Por qué quieres estudiar? Or maybe, for what? Or like, for what reason do you want to study? Para qué quieres estudiar? Let's see, number 17 here, or the next one. El Chupacabras está en el bosque. So the Chupacabras uh, is in the forest. So we might say, uh, where is the Chupacabras? ¿Dónde está el Chupacabras? Or what's in the forest? ¿Qué está en el bosque? And the last one was, uh, ella es alta. So she's tall. So I want to ask, what is she like? Careful with this one. I'm not going to use the word que for what, nor am I going to use the word qual, but rather como, which does mean how, but when you're asking what something is like, you're going to use como. So what is she like is going to be como es ella. Uh, now, also, I could say for this question, who is tall? Quien es alta? That's pretty much it. So, really, just kind of think about your answer. If you have to do something like this, think about what you would say in your language and then kind of translate as best you can over to Spanish. For the most part, it'll probably come across um, correctly. That's it. If you have uh, other questions that you just need help with, or maybe you want to make a question and you don't know how to say it, leave it in the comment box and I'll uh, get back to you on that. Otherwise, leave a like if you liked it and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.